Taurus. Yes, ma'am. They will not ignore us. What is going on, you guys? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Viva. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Shout out to all my Taurus babies who has had birthdays shout out happy birthday to you guys and everybody that has birthdays that have not come yet um happy uh, early birthday to all of y'all shout out to all my birthday babies out there shout out to all the Taurus okay um shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of y'all who has clicked this video thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing I want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been sending love to the page through the Amazon wish list we got another deck that's about to come here I believe it's a uh, it says it's arriving on um, May the 5th. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, thank you guys for all of the private bookings. If there's anyone who would like to book a reading with me, um, you can reach out to me on Instagram. All of that contact information my pricing list everything is on the about tab so if you want to link up with me just send me a message on instagram if you don't have instagram you can um, link up with me on google hangouts which is a free app to download and the only thing we need to exchange is our emails so my email is scorpionres at gmail.com you can also use that email if you have any questions or if you just want to tell me what's going on or just say what's up or whatever feel free to reach out to me on instagram or using that email so again thank you guys so much for all the bookings and the like share and subscribe so if you want to contact me just check out that about tab all right so um let's give thanks let's give thanks first of all before we get into any of this energy we're going to find out what's been going on and what's going to be going on with you guys for the month of may 2020 show me the money season yes god so let's give thanks Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here today. You know, we're here giving a big shout out to Taurus. They will not ignore us this season. Father God, we thank you for giving us the chance to sit down and take a rest and to reassess because we're blessed in the name. Father God, thank you. Okay. So, Father God, we're feeling long, strong, and determined. We're still on our path. We're still focused on our virtue. We're still focused on our safekeeping. We've been collecting gatherers. We've been collecting all of our blessings and we've been gathering up and we've been keeping them safe and we've been holding on and we've been keeping quiet not telling everybody everything that's going on with us because everybody don't need to know what's going on with us in the name of Jesus so Father God just thank you for keeping us in this in this energy you know it's about to be spring you know well you know things are spring you know what I'm saying the 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 seasons seem like it's having a stagnation and changing but you know what I'm saying it doesn't stop our growth at all the sun is still shining as long as the sun is still shining and we got free air and free love and free will father God we're going to do we're going to shake right on we're going to shake the table so thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've given us in the past present and the blessings that we have yet to receive in the future we're going to thank you now for what we have yet to receive thank you for keeping us on our path and keeping us from not making an ass of ourselves amen all right we've been making right decisions this time around so just thank you for keeping us collected and on our journey father god please give us guidance for the sign of taurus because they will not ignore us not in 2020 father god and show me the money season amen amen yes god come on yes ma'am let's get into it so let's see what type of moon oracle energy we got for my torches all right so let's see what we got going on for you guys all right Okay. Okay. They say this is a safe energy this season. You're just keeping it safe. You playing it safe. You staying balanced. What is this saying? Realization. Realization in number three. Realization. You're able to see the other side of the picture. I feel like... <clears throat> it's been this picture that you've been looking at. And it's just been this picture that you've been vision, envisioning for a long time. The number three represents creation, right? Self-expression, imagination, right? What you've been communicating to the world and to the universe as an artist. Look, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, 
I feel like for a while, like, you guys haven't been playing it safe. Like, you know, like, been doing things, taking the risks with your creations. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. Like, possibly trying to um, expose your light to people who didn't respect the light. You understand? Um, and now it's, a, it's, it's, it's you're looking at this picture in a different way. You're looking at the other side of the picture. You know what I'm saying? So, what I mean by that is... You're not trying to express your art and trying to communicate with people who don't see the light, who don't really see the picture the way that you see the picture. You know what I'm saying? Because as an artist, it's always the initial view of what you see, but then there's always the other side of the picture, the true meaning. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I can't talk to people who are not able to understand my communication and see things a little bit different and a little deeper. Having an artist view. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like the realization. Like these people don't have an artist's mind. You know. So trying to. It's, that's just like just being a regular person. Being around someone who's in the arts industry. In any type of way. Um, that kind of have that third eye alignment. And, and earthly relevance in everything that they do and, and trying to have a conversation with that person versus someone that's just living so that's just like saying this picture I painted uh it depicts a happy home and all of this stuff like that yes that's what it looks like but it's something deeper it's like look at the pictures on the wall within the picture look at this in the background look at the colors look you know what I'm saying like a real artist Every single thing, every single aspect, everything has to be recognized. It all has meaning. It all has a purpose down to the colors and why you use the colors and what that vibration was trying to give off, why you painted that dress, that picture, like everything. And if you don't have an artist's eye, you can't describe that type of deep level of communication and art to someone. And that is that realization. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. I need to walk into the door with more free thinking people that really kind of uh, see the light and get the other side of the picture. Not just what I'm putting out there for, of course, just the, I need someone that got that naked eye. Realization. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Everybody's not going to understand your art. Everybody's not going to understand your vision. It's so trying to explain art to people that still live in the mundane world. <laughs> it's, it is such a boring conversation. Oh my God. Yes, Shady Boots. Shady McGrady. Shady McGrady, girl. Yes. Come on now. Waxing crescent. Okay. Listen, the Queen of Cups. Exactly, girlfriend. I am an artist and I am sensitive about my shit, girl. You put a lot of love and you put a lot of patience and a lot of uh, like nurturing and, and, and dedication into your shit. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like if motherfuckers don't appreciate my art, I will keep that shit to myself, baby girl. I will keep all of this good love to myself. I'm a queen about my shit and I know, you know, everybody don't deserve to be in my court. You are designing your own court. Do you understand? You are designing a brand new court in a brand new environment. You're keeping your feet near the water. Do you understand? Free, clear of any strife and any negative emotions. You're keeping your shit as pure as the water, girlfriend. Yes, God. Okay? If you don't understand my vision, I don't understand your purpose, girl. Go on. Go on. Page of Pentacles, come on. Come on. That means planning, educating yourself, really having a fine-tuned focus about what it is that you're trying to accomplish and what you are trying to grow. Only in the threes, again, this is communication. This is communication. Do you understand? This is someone expressing love in a very mature and balanced way, you know? Very mature about it. I can't, I can't communicate with everybody. That's, that's something I realized. Everyone can't afford this key to have access to me and my level 
of refinery. And that's dead ass. That is dead ass. Okay, come on now. All right. Okay, so this right here is a sign of communication. Um, things that you have hopeful thoughts, hopeful wishing, something that you've been planning on might be coming into fruition at this point. Um, some things might be taken off. And it's like with careful planning and steady movement, you know what I'm saying? If you just keep doing what you're doing, it's going to continue to grow. So you're in a place right now where you're planting seeds and... Um, you're dedicating your time and your effort very diligently on whatever this new thought, this new vision is, or this new opportunity, really. It's a new opportunity. Something that's long-standing. And it's going to have immediate growth. You know, like certain, certain things, when you plant them in the in the ground, like it's going to take a, a while. Like, no, nah, within the week, you're, you will see growth. Yes. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that's studying and trying to invest their time and their energy on something that's ensuring to to grow it's like do you understand you see this green i put my heart in it you see all that red wrapped around their mind they are rooted you know and th listen they're rooted and exactly this orange that is the sacral chakra they're moving on their feelings they're moving on their gut feelings and they're putting their heart desire they're wearing their heart's desire and their passion on their body and they're cloaked and their head is covered with what they're rooted and grounded in. They know exactly who I am and what I'm trying to do. And I would dedicate my time and my efforts into it. That's like someone going to school, like, like realizing like if I want to be successful in something like that, if I'm trying to get to this other side right here and just get away from the mundane, you know. This is someone that's trying to become a boss, really. They're trying to set a stage for their own vision. What is this? The chariot in the reverse. But there's something about... It's at a standstill for some reason. The chariot in the reverse is not movement. Stagnation in regards to... It's like... You trying to drive somewhere but you ain't got no car insurance yet. Like, you might be too young to drive. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's like... The page is someone young. Kind of inexperienced, just learning. Um, you might be too young to drive on your own. That's kind of what I'm getting right here. Um, they said this is like your college crash course. Like your entry-level college crash course here. This is the Six of Cups in the reverse. So it's like you're going through a crash course right now to, I feel like, um, redo a chapter. It's like you, it's like you, it's like you're having to redo a chapter because you made like the same mistake that you made before or something like that. And it's like you kind of had to slow down and kind of like realization, like recognize, like, am I doing the same shit that I did? You, 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 you get what I'm saying? Page of Pentacles is grassroots, starting from the beginning, right? Realization. Let me start over, but I know what I'm doing this time because it, you might have went through a college crash course and you might have lost your car or lost your transportation or just can't move at this moment because I feel like you have to, you have to study. This is a card of like education as well, studying something, learning your craft from scratch, um, being brand new at something, something being brand new to you, being excited, learning a new trade, a new thing. So I don't know also if this is like a, a child of yours that's like trying to learn how to drive. You might need to drive with them. Don't let this child drive alone because like they might crash the fucking car or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um... This is, in regards to this child thing, this might be a child that might be a little bit ungrateful 
um to me this is a card of someone being ungrateful it's like you might have given them a car or something and they weren't being grateful for what they've received it's like they felt like they should have got a better car and shit like that but you like look motherfucker you just young Listen, I ain't trying to go out there and spend a whole bunch of money on no damn vehicle. Would you just learn how to fucking drive so you go and crash up? What you want me to go buy you a BMW or some shit, nigga? No, go take that car and be fucking grateful. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might be realization, real, realizing as a mother that y'all might got some ungrateful ass goddamn kids. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, listen, this, this time, I'm going to give you and I'm going to do this for you this time. But you're going to have to go and you're going to have to learn on your own. The value of a dollar because it's like when you learn how to spend your own dollar and you go out there and you don't want to listen to me and you be ungrateful about what i'm giving you and you and go crash your car up end up having to buy a new car and just doing dumb shit number where number one ain't gonna get you nowhere you know what i'm saying it's like not learning from the past or something like that you see what i'm saying so i don't know I'm, like that's something totally on a side note a mother here Dealing with a child that has a lot of focus on money and wants and things like that. And really needs to be focusing on school and everything like that. And it's like you're giving to them. But it's like at the same time, they still need to really, really learn about how to take care of a car. You know what I'm saying? And be, being grateful. Um, so, and you can even, excuse me, let me close the door because my children are downstairs playing. So that's even just like... In a situation with where a woman is realizing that, you know, I want to give to a certain situation um, and I want to invest in something. But at the end of the day, it's not going to go it's not going to go anywhere if the people that I'm trying to get to are ungrateful and don't want to give the same energy that I'm giving. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you guys, I'm recording. <laughs> so let me get one more. Oh, this is a divorce. This is a separation. Um, yeah, this is a separation. It has to do with um, separating family, assets, and kids, and things like that. Like a willingness to give emotionally, you know what I'm saying? Like not giving into the past, learning from past mistakes or something like that. The Ace of Cups. So like there was an ending here. There was a divorce. There was a relationship that was broken down, disbanded. You're having to start all over again, giving a new beginning and also a new foundation in love. Number one. A foundation of love for yourself. You're giving everything that you were giving to someone that was ungrateful. Someone that didn't emotionally know what they wanted. Um, it seems like that you regret giving to here. Um, you guys might have been left with the kids. You might realize that your kids are a little bit fucking ungrateful too. And it looks like that you're about to re-educate yourself on getting some straightening here. Okay? So that's why I'm going right back to that whole thing. It's like... These people can't understand the type of art that I'm trying to create, what I'm trying to do here. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't, they can't see things from a mother's mind, a mother's, uh, you know, outlook. You know what I'm saying? Because the queen of wands. So it's like, you know, this is the, the energy of two queens right here. It's like, you know, I got to still be loving. But at the same time, if I got to get up and crack some ass, I'm going to have to get up and crack some ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about that action, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm very passionate and I'm very loving and I'm very giving. But at the same time, like, I have to, like, this is the, this is the mother that love you, but she will still discipline you as well. She will lovingly whoop your ass and tell you, listen, and then and then go cook you some food and all of that shit and tell you why you did it and then take you to go watch a goddamn um um football game or whatever with her son or something like that. It's like, um, I feel like this is someone that realized that they've given a lot of love and comfort to like a young child where it could be to the point where they've almost spoiled them, and a lot of it could have had to do with the dysfunction of the father, you know what I'm saying, in the relationship. Like, I feel like a lot of the stuff that this child could have possibly picked up from the dysfunction of the family. 
So it's like, with everything that you've learned, I feel like instead of learning how to just be a loving and a giving and a nurturing mother, you learn how to be a more active mother in a different way, like being very passionate about your family and the things like that. And pouring self-love into yourself. And like, I feel like you're changing the atmosphere. Listen, the strength card. Exactly. The strength card is you are... It's, they said that, that you're not allowing. It's like either your ex-husband. You're not allowing them to take advantage of you anymore. And it's like in order for me to get some straightening with my kids. I got to get rid of this ungrateful motherfucker right here. That I'm constantly giving to. And it's like my kids are recycling. You know what I'm saying? What they're seeing and think that I'm going to put up with their bullshit too. I don't think so. I don't know if you got like a preteen son or something like that. And I, I, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like a teenager. Like, like how old are kids when they start getting their driver's license and shit like that? Uh, their driver's permit, like 15, 16 or something like that. Someone that's still in school. Someone that still needs to learn. And it's like, I'm still in school too. I realize that. I feel like this divorce or whatever helped you get rid of a lot of ungrateful people. In situations that weren't going anywhere. And it's like you're emotionally sure of that now. And it's like you're giving it to yourself. And you're starting to find love all over again. Because it's like you're being patient with your future here. Let's see what we got here in regards to love. I don't know why I just wanted to jump into love like that. I kind of just want to. Yeah let's get, let's get like four cards right here. And then for love. Then I'm going to go to the shamanic set because that's pulling to me right now. Come on, Taurus. Give me four in the middle. Well, May for my Taurus. Uh-oh, it's upside down. Oh, yes, I love this. Y'all are getting over this depression in this dark little gray area stage in y'all life. Y'all said, fuck that. <laughs> Bitch, bye. I ain't got time to be sitting around sad and depressed and feeling lonely and shit like that. But you are trying to refocus yourself and get yourself a little bit grounded and stable a little bit and it seems like with that being in the reverse like um ground and stability foundation it seems like as things might be going a little bit haywire because this is someone that realized you can you have to have that balance between that mother that is very uh, emotionally giving and nurturing and shit you got to still be old school. You still got to be, look, you, you, you still got to be like me, ma. Like, yeah, motherfuckers knew me, ma, love you. I'm going to love you and kiss you, but I will crack your ass too. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to have that balance and you had to bring that strength and stuff like that. So it's like having to restructure your foundation a little bit. Cause it's like, I don't let y'all motherfuckers get away with y'all. Listen, come on here. Listen to Hammer. Okay. You having a motherfucker get shit together. Okay. Okay. By force. Listen, you you you're having to use your force right here to get people to take you seriously and understand what's going on. Bitch, I did not have to buy you no car. Okay? How about you take your little ass out there, go get you listen. You better hope that you got some prospects with some new jobs coming in, little little John. Don't disrespect me. Don't listen. Realization. Um, you might need to get whoever the child is, you might need to go out there and get your own job. Because you ain't about to be coming in here with this motherfucking disrespectful and, 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 and confused as misplacement of your emotions where you're not considerate of everything that I do for you and you're not being appreciative and you think I'm going to still put up with it. Uh uh. I'm going to show him and I'm going to show you. Go get your own job. Go get your own car and don't ask me for shit since you don't appreciate nothing. You want, you want mommy to be tough and be hard with y'all? Because, listen, mommy wasn't trying to do that. Mommy was not trying to do that. Okay? But if I got to come through here and hammer some shit down and let y'all know by force that I'm not fucking playing with y'all and y'all going to stop playing around here, oh, baby, today is the day because we're going to get some straightening going on here. Because right now, there's no stability right now, and I'm not smelling the cinnamon and the apples. It is not a motherfucker. Okay? Bitch, where? Uh-uh. Because this right here. This, this shit, what is this? Depressed, detached, unemotional. Oh, those days are over. I'm not tolerating it from myself and I'm not tolerating it from you, fun. So y'all motherfuckers gonna get it together around here. 
Okay? So I don't know if in the past, like, this woman was so loving and, and didn't want to hurt her kids' feelings or didn't want to know. Fuck that shit. Because y'all going to stop playing with me around here. I love you. But I love myself, too. That's that self-love. Like, uh-uh. No. Hell to the no. Uh-uh. A, -A, -A, a Exactly. Come on now. It says, new opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. Yes, you continue hammering away. Okay? You continue hammering away, baby girl. You got it. Like I'm trying to tell you, self-love is it's a realization. It's, it's, it's some serious shit. Self-love will get the shit done. You understand? I can still love me and be sweet and everything like that, but I will still crack your ass. Sometimes you got to still show people this. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Now, I'm sitting up there trying to show you some beautiful shit and trying to show you a different way and a different vision and stuff like that. Are y'all still stuck back here in this, in this old shit? No. No. I ain't trying to do that no more. And I'm clearly realizing that y'all want to still come on with the bullshit. But well, let me get some straightening together with y'all. Okay? Because I'm not going to continue to give to motherfuckers that don't want this to go and get better. You know what I'm saying? Because, no, you make me regret even trying to, no. Mm -mm. And sometimes you got to be like that with your damn kids. What is this? This masculine energy? Yes. Okay. Masculine energy. Y'all having to boss up a little bit. Show some strength. You understand? Let the sun shine. Let there be illumination. You know? Let there be light around this motherfucker. Okay? It's a new day. Now, if I got to come up and boss hog on your ass, listen, I'm going to have to come. I'm going to have to come on with the stick. I'm going to have to beat you with the stick now. I'm going to I'm gonna have to pop this, pop this shit out your ass around here. Okay? Now, stop this shit. Get y'all shit on together, go on and do the dishes and take the trash out like I told y'all to. And y'all ain't got to be having no fussing out of me, okay? Alright? As long as y'all do what I need you to do and y'all don't be coming at me with the bullshit, you ain't got to be worrying about me one fucking pop your motherfucking ass, alright? So you chill and I'm a motherfucking chill, okay? God damn it. The hell? There's gonna be some control around this motherfucker, okay? So I don't know if your father uh, or their father or somebody's father... Was a lack of discipline or a lack of straightening or something? Oh, we gonna get some straightening around here, okay? So if I don't know if you if if, if, if you must have missed the beating from your father, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here to whoop your ass today, okay? And that's the same thing with this ex husband, whoever the fuck it is. That look, I guess this motherfucker must have missed a couple of ass whoop uh, ass whoopings an ungrateful bitch. That's what she's saying, okay? What is this here? Divine timing. Let it come on through, Father God. Let it come on through. Let it come on through. Time to get some reckoning and some straightening going on, okay? Some recognizations, okay? Realizations, some recognizations, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on, little seed pod. You better grow. Divine timing. You see all them birds up there? That's communication. They saying, listen, look, I, look, I listen. I don't know who woke her up. I don't know who woke the, who, who woke her up, okay? But someone done, done woke up the beast. And she said she ain't got damn plan with you. Divine timing, this masculine energy needs to step on in. Or I don't know if this is like a father or somebody that is like an absentee father. And they need to, they need to, well, they don't need to be do shit. If they don't, if they ain't going to do the shit, they ain't going to do it. It don't matter. It seems like uh, Queen Mother's around this junk. And then also what they're telling me um, is whoever this woman is, the Queen of Cups. I don't know if this is your mother right here. It's like two women or something. Ever these are two women inside of you, or you got somebody that this is you who's the sweet one, and this is the one that 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 be whooping ass. You understand? The three of oh god. Okay. This masculine energy with this three of swords here. So it's this is like getting over some heartbreak bullshit. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's find out what's going on with this. The page of cups. Okay. The Knight of Coins, the Page of Spears, the Lovers, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so basically, in regards to this masculine energy right here, this is basically explaining what the fuck happened with this divorce. And then as well, this can also be read as... Here you are, the Queen of Cups, the one that's giving all of the love, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio. You're having this realization. You're able to see the other side of the picture now. You just want to be offered new beginnings. It seems like to a new masculine energy. It seems like you just want to start all over. 
in regards to this third party situation right here is something that seems like you're trying to get over thinking about it's like listen we already divorced we done separated listen we you know there's visitation with the kids or whatever and all of this shit is established blah say blah but there might be a realization that there's a, a Sagittarius Aries Leo female in the picture and that's why things weren't going anywhere and this person is doing the same thing that they did to you in the past I don't know if you've been with this husband of yours whoever this Ten of Cups, like y'all lived with each other, y'all, and y'all don't live with each other no more. Y'all are going through separation and like emotional discord and things like that because it could have been two women right there. And that's why you're trying to demonstrate strength right now because you might have been given into temptation in the past. Like, keep trying to work this thing out, but it's like now you realize with this masculine energy, with this sun, this illumination, like there's been a new day. I'm offering my time and energy to a new beginning you understand so it's like you could be waiting for some communication from a new masculine energy that's going to help you get over this third party situation because you're over being depressed detached unemotional you want to be in a more stable situation so that's why you're hammering away by force to show yourself this self-love here you understand because it's something about you needing to get over this and you needing to get your kids together as well because it seems like you don't want your children to repeat a cycle and to be just like their father, be someone with the chariot that doesn't know what they want, where they're going, and is stagnating everybody. You see what I'm saying? You have this bigger picture. You have this beautiful picture, but it's like this other side of the picture that is really the bigger point. And it's like these motherfuckers don't see it. So it's like if motherfuckers don't see your art, your glory, your story, don't even worry about them. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just a waste of time and mental energy, and it's only going to end up hurting your heart. It's going to take some time to rebuild. So this person is pulling these hearts, these um, swords out of their hearts so they can stop thinking about this page of cups. Okay? This person, it seems like they could have regret having children by, you know, or like you could. Okay, I'm not going to say that. But anyway, no, I am going to say that. Like, you feel like you regret having children by this motherfucker because this person is immature emotionally. Do you understand? And even with this page, it's like it's nothing that is stable for it to grow. It's like very best, like very immature ass energy. Nothing that is demonstrating a real man. You understand? So it's like the avid this woman is having it to be two queens all at once and a major arcana of the strength just to handle things to try to get some control and some grounding is some, some stability in the picture here because at best this man acts like a fucking child and doesn't emotionally know what they want again like we said y'all could have been dealing with a pisces or cancer okay and then so this is the knight of coins the knight of coins is basically saying that whoever this person is and again y'all know how the energy is you could be on one side or the other side this could be happening to you or this could be you speaking as me right now when I'm reading these cards. So, and it could be vice versa, man and woman. And it could be a lesbian situation or same-sex situation as well. So, y'all just read it how, we, how it goes for y'all. But whoever was in the masculine energy right here um, is basically saying that this person is just slow to, like, give anything. Because it's 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 like... They want to make sure and guarantee the success of a situation before they fully make a, a full approach and really offer something to someone. So whoever this was is very slow to give. Um, so that's why they only just at a base level kept things at a page situation. You know what I'm saying? Because they felt... <laughs> mm, 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 mm. It's like their value, their options. So that's why they only give things at a page level. You know what I'm saying? And things just, just kind of like slow to take off and really mature. You know, it's like this person likes to gallop and go across the country and travel a lot. Like the page represents 
movements wands represents movement and travel so this person likes to travel a lot this is a traveler you understand what i'm saying so this person likes to um eat a lot of exotic foods and you know so this person might like have a lot of exotic countries in mind that they want to travel or i'm, I'm no I'm, I'm trying to say a lot of exotic company a lot of exotic company um the lovers so I'm getting like this masculine energy travels a lot and they communicate and they do offer their self and I want to say <laughs> engage in a, in a lot of procreation with people. I don't even feel like this is like protected sex or anything like that. It's like I feel like this person travels a lot with their wand in hand like starting new adventures and creating lovers and now they're confused because they just have this multitude of options and it's like someone needing to go within and really um make an option of who they want to offer something to so it's like some masculine energy that's on some like of like conquest or voyage or something right now and there could be a lot of people that's being hurt because I don't feel like this person is understands the dynamic and the magnitude the how love can because it's like okay so this person to turn around and say, oh, I really didn't offer you anything yet. I didn't even get to that point where I was offering you anything. But at the same time, it's like they'll have the same love and affection that they're giving to you with many people. It's like I'm kind of offering a cup. No, I'm not. Yeah, I kind of like you, but I'm talking to other people. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like this person... And they will, they will easily tell you, like, I was just talking to you. We were just communicating about this. Yeah, we were lovers, and but I've had, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, this person is kind of fucked up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because they keep shit at a page level with people, but they get this close in connections and be like, ah, oh, but I got other options. Like, ah, oh, we were just talking. Like, eh, nah, nah. like, no, 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 no. Like, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And that's why they're confused. And that's why they're going through a whole bunch of illusions in their head about what love is because they, they, they're in love with options. I feel like they're in love with love and don't even know how to give love. You know what I'm saying? Like whoever this masculine energy is, and I definitely feel like that's still that was the realization. It's just like, oh, this motherfucker out there just doing whatever. Oh no, it's good. Y'all can have them. The streets can have them. It was divine time, and like I already knew that shit was about to happen. This motherfucker was about to show me exactly who the fuck they was, and I'm definitely not about to let my kids turn around and be like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like this woman is going to teach her, especially her son, how to respect women. And then don't play with people's hearts like that. Don't be treating people like they're no fucking option, especially if y'all in a marriage. Because this, 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 this right here was people that had children and lived with each other. You know what I'm saying? And this woman had to learn how to love herself. What is this here? The Ten of Coins in the Reverse, the Justice card, the Hangman, the Tower in the Reverse, and the Five of Cups. Come on fucking now game of thrones come on okay all right so the ten of coins and the justice so whoever this is um they might be leaving a little shorthanded and i feel like the separation of this relationship um that's why the strength is it you know this woman is having to be two people at one to kind of like get things together and regroup herself and her kids and a realization that she has to fix some things. And maybe there was some time. Maybe in the past she was working too much. And there wasn't a lot of time for her to put in with her children and things like that. But now I really do feel like there has been some balancing. And there's been some time put in now. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have any choice because this family has been disbanded and it's like you have to kind of start all over and do things on your own a little bit. But with this justice card being here, I feel like you're on the right side of justice. Like you might end up having to separate and like lose a house or something like that and like kind of start all over that way. But I feel like with this justice right here, it's like you're going to end up getting what back whatever you lost that's all i'm saying you're definitely going to get back whatever everything that you lost you just have to look at things from a different perspective okay because i feel like god wouldn't put you through nothing that you couldn't handle um you might still be a little bit hung up on the past a little bit but i feel like at the same time when you're hung, when the hangman represents someone being secluded, someone being by themselves so they can see something differently and they can, like, get their self together so they can get down off of this shit that they're hung up on and, you know, move on to something better. Do you get what I'm saying? So you can see something from a different aspect. You know, this is karmic justice. This is things being balanced for the good. You know what I'm saying? So this separation... Even though you might have lost some material things, you know what I'm saying? Listen, you might have lost a car. That might, listen, you might have lost your car or some shit like that. Okay? And someone trying to claim something or something about somebody being a grateful. It's like you wish you'd have never given these motherfuckers certain shit. You know what I'm saying? You might have lost a car, but it's like... There's balance being bought in here. Just look at the, the look at the bigger picture. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm secluding you from this situation. Because it was bound to happen anyway with this divine timing. And it's like God knows what he's doing. So just trust. It's like it's like just trust. Just trust. Listen, the tower, the tower represents, and the tower in the reverse, what the five of cups represents. Like you avoided a fucking disaster. Like this shit was about to come down and crumble down anyway. So it's like you got out of there in the nick of fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Even though you might have lost a little bit of money and got to start all over. But what if you would have stayed in there and the tower would have fell over on you? It would have cost you way more. At least you get a chance to five of cups, leave all of that bullshit behind that was meant to be destroyed and go forth in a new day. You know, it's like looking at what you got ahead of you. And that's what this person is doing. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm not even... Again, the the Six of Cups, I'm not looking at the past anymore because it's like you're realizing that the people in the past, they didn't really appreciate you. Like this motherfucker is immature and wants to go out there and chase their option. That motherfucker chase their option. I hope they chase their tail and motherfucking uh, fall on their ass, okay? Don't matter. I got the strength. I'm not about to cry and be depressed and just be emotionally de your detached. You're continuously hammering away. And it seems like you're hammering away at your children. Getting your children fucking straight. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into all of this. Y'all getting all of the fucking cards. Because this y'all motherfucking birthday. Okay? So y'all deserve all of this. All of this. All of this. Okay? Okay. Let's get into these love oracle cards. Give me guidance and love. Release. Dedicated effort. Look at you uh, painting that picture. Oh, observer. Seek the truth and blossoming. Oh, Lord Jesus. Again, it's like, I don't know if it's like y'all regret having some child with someone or you pregnant and you don't want to have a child with this motherfucker no more because this person is out here doing shit and you don't even want to think about what they're doing i just i don't want to raise no baby and no dysfunction like that you know what i'm saying so i don't know if y'all were living because we had the ten of cups in the reverse and the ten of pentacles in the reverse you know what i'm saying so it's like you walked away from it all it's like you lost it all you understand what i'm saying so it's like with this right here being in the reverse i feel like you might be having a little bit of struggle trying to release that shit it's just taking a little bit more time. And it's like every little day that you're taking, your strength is growing stronger. Like you're getting over those urges to look back and to think back at the past. And, you know, you struggling with this release. You're growing more stronger every, every, every day. You're having less thoughts about it. Less shit is reminding you of this motherfucker in this situation. It's like, I feel like there's someone that just wants to move on. There could have been someone that regret having a pregnancy. Either you lost a baby or you aborted a baby because you already seen where this shit was going. You ain't even want to live with this motherfucker no more. You know, y'all could have been married. Y'all could have not been married. You know what I'm saying? If you were married, 
this is the situation in which why you lost your child because of the stress or some shit like that. And it's like that's why God is is is. It's like you had to really see. This person was ungrateful. Like shit wasn't going nowhere with that tower in the reverse. The motherfucker don't know what they want. That's why they got to have all of this shit. And it's like, listen, dedicated effort. You continue your art. You continue believing and being rooted in that picture that you were painting. Remember I was telling you that picture? Continue staying rooted in your picture. Someone is going to appreciate your art. And you are going to be able to have amazing conversations. All right? And someone else might want to add to it to show you their own fucking Picassos. Do you feel what I'm saying? So, continue. Sometimes it's just realizing people don't understand what I'm trying to kick to them. And that's all right. I'm about to stop looking now. I'm about to dedicate my effort on me. And I'm about to stop looking. So, I don't know if this is you guys in the past were... Like the three of swords. I don't know if you guys kept looking at who this person was painting another picture with or some shit like that or whatever. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you looking at old pictures, that old picture that you were trying to dedicate your energy to. And that was making it hard for you to release. Like, stop looking at that. Stop observing that shit and paint a new picture with a whole totally different uh, person in mind. Actually design who you want that person. Every little aspect of how beautiful you want this person to be. How beautiful you want the situation. And allow all of that art. All of that passion. All of that is going to manifest. And it's going to create a better vision. A better vision. And again it's, telling, again, it's saying to stop. It's saying someone is having a hard time releasing. Because they keep looking at that old picture. Dedicate your effort to making a new picture. Stop observing and stop oh, and stop trying to communicate. Look, it says seek the truth. Stop trying to seek the truth or try to get this person to tell you. It's like someone looking for closure for someone to admit to you that they did whatever they did that 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 tore you apart. That's tearing tearing you mentally apart. It's like if I could just get this person to confess, they said they're not gonna they're not gonna say this shit. So stop looking for them to tell you that shit. Stop trying to seek some truth out of a motherfucker that's not going to tell you the truth. How they going to tell you that and they don't even know what the fuck they want? Nothing is going to blossom. It's just not. You know what I'm saying? It was not meant to grow. But you are. Do you understand? Continue to trans... Continue to transmute that energy. All of this dark shit. People that didn't understand your communication, your creation, your picture. They didn't want to see the other side of the picture that you was trying to create. That's cool. Continue going through to that light. Block access. This is a key. This is a, People don't have to have access to your vision, to your beauty, to your grace, to your humble abundance. They don't have to. Realization. Everyone don't have to have access. So... Which cards did I not use here? Oh, no, I'm definitely not about to use all of these damn cards. All right, so we're going to do just one more. One more, please. Uh, guidance. What's the coming of future in May? In love and life. In life in general. The gentleman. Crossroads. So this man is in a crossroads. Still trying to make decisions. Still going over options. What is this? The lilies. So, um, like the lilies, it's like paying your respects to something a little bit. Um, that, like offering forgiveness or something like that. Um, trying to find some type of harmony, some type of peace or something like that. Trying to be mature about a situation. Um... The king of spades, that's like someone that's just being politically smart. Um, but the king of spades can also be a very sneaky and vindictive person. So it's like this person is trying to just be mature and, and be a peacemaker and just try to... Because I feel like this person might be a little older than you. 
what is this the anchor here so the anchor means like to reel something in stability the cross means fate means fate and then what is this the lady so in regards to this man um it seems like this person is still in the crossroads um I feel like what this means is like having to be um, wise and having to come to your own conclusions with this male energy here and just make peace with him. I feel like you already know that this person is sneaky, conniving and manipulative and just, you know, he going to do what he want to do, basically. Um, this anchor represents like obligations and just like... A permanence you know what I'm saying so this could be you guys this kid's father or something like that so like there's either some obligation that you're having to just pay your respects to this person and, and, and try to keep some harmonious peace and be mature here and wise in your dealings with this person because with this nine of spades here nine of spades represents like failure you know what I'm saying like it failed miserably but at the same time like i still got a deal i still i still have an obligation i still you know what i'm saying i still have you know this is still a job i have to do so it's like even though there's failure and shit like that it's like trying to make peace in regards to where there's a conflict or whatever like this right here the cross with the six of okay all right the cross with the six of clubs and this lady right here this lady as you can see she has the ace of spades so that's the death card there so like you're definitely ending something so that you can start a new beginning but it's like a heavy cross that you got to bear with this person because like i said you're still having to have some type of harmonious peace and you're having to bury something you know what i'm saying i feel like it was fated for whatever to happen in order for you to grow you see how those lilies is growing or whatever those white flowers is i don't know what that white flower is but that white flower basically represents like something being pure something being honest truthful you know what i'm saying like for you to honestly get to your desk you see what i'm saying so i feel like something had to be buried um because that looks like a you know a cross that's put over top like a tombstone or something like that and again you got the ace of spades so she definitely did have a heavy cross to bear and still has a heavy cross to bear um trying to create peace and trying to be mature and deal with this failure like i said this person could have regret having kids with this person because this, oh, and then you got the crossroads with the Queen of Pentacles. So, like, this person could have been mainly chasing after women based off of what they could give him. Like, the money and things like that. Like, this person will go with whoever. Listen, he's the ace of hearts. So, this person is looking for love in all the wrong places based on all the wrong things. You see what I'm saying? It's not genuine love is based off of i'm gonna go wherever is best for me and wherever it makes more sense you know what i'm saying wherever i'm gonna look good you know so that's why this person is collecting options you know what i'm saying and kind of just playing around has a whole bunch of lovers at this point in time um where they're just talking to people but at the same time reeling them in real good because it's like you're talking to people but you're talking to them and acting like you in relationships and like y'all married and this person got like a lot of motherfuckers and that's why I try, I try to tell people when I start dating people I say how many people do you have out here thinking that you are their man okay how many people think that you are their man don't be blind, motherfucker. Go within and think real hard. How many bitches think that you are their man? Go within and think about it and then get back to me. If you don't know, bitch, I don't know neither. Boop, boop, boy. I ain't got no time. Straighten it, bitch. Listen, straighten it. We ain't got it to do. We do fucking not have it to do. That's strength, okay? You don't know. I don't know evil. Bye-bye, okay? So we ain't got no time to be focused on no depression, look, being melancholy, being worried. We ain't doing that shit. We are not doing that shit. We are hammering ourselves away trying to get our foundation back. 
and opportunities are knocking on our door because we love our fucking self. And I'm sorry, whoever this is, is saying I regret having babies with this motherfucker. I can see why, bitch. I can see the fuck why. But anyway, I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. This has been y'all reading. At least y'all are coming into realization, baby. All right? The closer you realize, the closer you get to glory. Because they don't know our story. Bitch, tell them, girl. Taurus, they will not ignore us. Peace, y'all. If this video resonates, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to book a reading with me. Okay, only thing you need to do is click that about button and send me a message on Instagram. I will holler at you. Peace.